emotional testimony continued today in the lawsuit filed by Vanessa Bryant against the LA County Sheriff's and Fire Department. It's all over claims graphic photos were taken and shared from the deadly helicopter crash over two and a half years ago. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda has today's developments. It was another emotional day for Vanessa Bryant. There were times she was not in the courtroom because of the graphic details. Sheriff's Deputy Douglas Johnson was one of the first people at the crash site. On the stand, he said he had to hike up the hill and it took more than an hour to get there. He says he searched for survivors and described it as a gruesome scene. He testified that he was told to take pictures of the entire scene and document it, and he felt that included taking photos of the victims. He says he took about 25 photos and sent them as a text message to a deputy at the station. He says it did not occur to him that having these photos on his personal phone might not be appropriate. He says it was common practice to share photos of incidents with members of the department. He said after his shift, he deleted all the photos from his phone. This was not said in court, but Deputy Johnson is the same deputy seen in this surveillance video, kneeling on the neck of inmate Enzo Escalante in a use of force incident inside San Fernando Courthouse last year. We also heard from Luella Wireeater, who was in tears several times during her testimony. She's the wife of a firefighter and testified that at an awards event, county firefighter Captain Tony and Brenda was showing pictures of the crash that he had on his phone. Wireeater explained that she had family members who died in the crash and was disgusted. Her cousin was Carrie Altabelli. Carrie, her husband John, and daughter Alyssa all died in the crash. She says some people were gathered around to look at the photos, and she described the atmosphere as a party trick. She says one person walked away and said, I can't believe I just looked at Kobe's burned up body, and now I'm about to eat. She says the photos they were looking at could have been of her family members, and she reported it to the Los Angeles County Fire Department. And there are still dozens of witnesses left to testify in this case. It could last until the end of August. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.